Welcome to Jinkataxia's Progress Tyrant. As far as our opening hand goes, we've got... We got three lands. Frantic, sir. Yeah, but we'll keep on this one. No reason to ship this one back. And we're on the draw, so hopefully we can... I think the only hesitation would be some... Uh, be some fast mana. It'd be nice to see some mana crypt or soul ring, but that's also uh, that's like complaining about not having free dessert at a restaurant. It's just <laughs> that's the way magic goes sometimes. So, but anyway, welcome to some Jinka Taxi. Is playing against Agnes, the uh, the Dragon's Latch, which is one of my favorite commanders. In fact, I need to record with Agnes uh, sometime soon. So, um, let's go and lead off with. Like, Yes. Yeah, we're going to lead off with Scalding Tarn. Let's go and crack Scalding Tarn, grab ourselves an island, and uh, have that enter the battlefield. There we go. And then anything else, we're going to go and pass the turn over uh, to our opponent. We're playing Jinkataxia's Progress Tyrant. Whenever you cast an artifact, instant, or sorcery spell, copy that spell. Um, you may choose new targets for the copy. And then there we go. This ability triggers only once each turn. Then whenever an opponent casts an artifact, instant, or sorcery spell, counter that spell, this ability triggers only once each turn and if you don't know um jinka taxius has partner uh, with little baby samurai head don't even know a word yet it doesn't do anything but it does have that partner so it's important that you have that rule zero conversation um with your table so let's go <laughs> let's go and lead off with island and let's go for lightning greaves it's gonna be one two um we do have force of negation online we do need to keep that in mind because at the very least we can exile uh, Thought Monitor to stop something from our opponent. And then uh, anything else, we will pass it over to our opponent. Playing gets Agnes, the Dragon's Lash. Um, haste, whenever a creature you control with haste attacks, create a tapped treasure token. And uh, if you want to build Agnes, one of the best things you can do is start your deck off with Agnes and uh, Amulet of Vigor. And then go from there. And because when you get down to Amulet of Vigor with Agnes, those treasure tokens come into play untapped. And that is, uh, that's some good magic right there. All right, so our opponent's swinging it from one that's going to drop us down to uh, 38. And then uh, anything else looks like no. And they will pass it over to us. So we'll cover our sponsors here in just, all right, so we do run into Brainstorm. And I think what we'll probably end up doing is um, probably just dropping down War Room. Because we can always shuffle stuff away with Brainstorm and Misty next turn. I think that sounds like a good plan. Let's kind of see what our opponent's got going on. So um, let's just pass the turn. Yeah, we, we can have a pretty explosive turn against our opponent. So uh, anything else, let's pass it to our opponent. But yes, let's give a quick shout out to our, our sponsors. Uh, TCG Player, if you go to bit.ly slash um, that will apply my affiliate link. That'll allow you to get some cards and help support the channel at the same time. So if you do use that link, much obliged. I certainly appreciate it. Uh, let's give a quick shout out to MTGO Traders. If you want to play Commander Online, they've got you covered, especially on magic online uh, this is different from magic arena and uh, last but not least i started a patreon so if you'd like to directly support cool content like this there's a link down in the description below uh, but if you're keeping score at home with your little baby samurai head and holding it like jenga taxis is officially free time so let's have some fun um let's go frantic search uh, draw three cards then uh yeah we're cool with this let's see what we got moving so we're gonna draw two cards and um, that's gonna be mirror works in mana crypt which actually very uh, very excited about so what we can end up doing they do have an open treasure token unfortunately so with Thassa's intervention well actually no we can we can tap that in for one yeah i kind of like that so let's go ahead and discard mirror works and we'll go ahead and get rid of thought monitor uh, let's untap these three lands and let's go for Thassa's intervention on agnes because we just want to set the uh yeah because they've only got one treasure token so they can't pay that one. So we're going to click OK on this one. Um, so let's go Thassa's Intervention from 1, which is essentially going to be 2. And then that'll give us a chance to kind of hit the reset button on Agnes. And then with Brainstorm and Misty next turn, we can kind of look at the top part of our library. And then uh, hopefully, if we can get down Jenga Taxius, uh, we've got Mana Crypt. That's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, Mana, uh, 5, 6 with Mana Crypt. Then we're one, actually 1 away from Jenga Taxius. So uh, we can actually get some stuff moving with that. So... Uh, but yes, let's get over. All right, so we run into Island. Uh, let's drop in Misty if we want to end up going for Brainstorm. And I think we can go and go for this main phase. Uh, we're actually pretty cool with that. So let's go for Brainstorm right now. Um, look at the top. Uh, draw three cards, put two back. Okay, so let's go ahead and put um, Island back on top. And we'll put another Island because it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Uh, so we can put one more Island back on top. Um, let's drop in Misty. 
And so we drop in Mana Crypt. That didn't really put us on anything else. And so um, just in case we forget, well, we do have Misty to go for Mystic Island, I think, which is going to put something else back on top of our library. Um, so let's do this. Let's just go and pass the turn over to our opponent. And then I'm going to look at uh, Scryfall real quick and make sure that I am remembering um, Mystic, is it Mystic Sanctuary? I'm trying to remember the exact requirement. Yeah, Mystic Sanctuary. So whenever it enters the battlefield, uh, you may put a target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard on top of your library untapped if you control three or more islands. So we cannot go for Mystic Sanctuary just yet. So um, I was thinking we could put something on top if we wanted to. All right, so it's going to be Urbrask. And uh, yeah, that's actually pretty good. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, the next time they would draw a card... Instead, they exile the top card, they can play it this turn. All right, so there's not really much we can do about that. Um, I think we will end up shuffling with Misty, but they're going to be able to swing in. That's going to be six coming across, so let's go and crack Misty. There we go. Let's go and grab Misty, and we're just going to grab an island on this one. We'll hopefully get into the uh, Sanctuary line later in the game, so we'll get Island to come down. Um, they're going to be swinging in, and with the War Room, that is two total mana. Or excuse me, three total mana, so we cannot go for that activation uh, just yet. All right, so they do knock us down to 30. Um, we're going to exile the top card of our library, and that is our exile zone. And actually, I think we may end up going for that. And so let's go ahead and drop in Island. Let's go Mana Crypt. And that's going to be 1, 2, um, 3, 4. Get down 3 and Dynamo. And that'll still put us on 6. And that's going to be until end of turn. So we can at least go for Masterful Replication if we wanted to. And um, we're still, unfortunately, one away from going for Jinkataxius. But having two Golem tokens may not be that bad if we end up really want to get that going. But at the end of the day, we may want to end up waiting on Masterful Replication for Jinkataxius, especially with us kind of getting a little bit ahead on mana. So um, I think we may end up doing that. And so with uh, Urabrask, our opponent did get Assassin's Trophy. So destroy target permanent opponent controls, and we get to put a basic lane onto the battlefield. So that is in the Exile Zone. And let's make sure that we're looking at this correctly. Ooh, and that is going to be a very good dock side for them. That's a lot of treasure tokens. Um, at the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card. You can play it this turn. Okay. Um, so we'll see if they end up going for Assassin's Trophy. The good thing with Urbrask is that it will um, it'll just be exiled if they don't end up going for it. If they do end up popping something, I could see them going for Thran Dynamo. Um, if they do end up going for Thran Dynamo, at least that'll give us uh, a land. Um, it would be a bummer to kind of miss out on the mana because that's going to be, you know, Mana Crypt and Thran Dynamo. Is going to be a very good option for us to uh, get down Jenga Taxius and still get down uh, get some sort of threat on our opponent. But right now they've got some uh, they've got a pretty good board set. You can see where Agnes is a lot of fun. Uh, I ended up building Agnes with like kind of a goblin tribal style way. But you can see when you're running just stuff like Dockside, Jury, and uh, it's going to be Assassin's Trophy. So we'll add that extra mana to our mana pool, and that is let's make. Yes, we will definitely use that ability. Let's get an island onto the battlefield. And that's going to still end up being 1, 2, 3. Do we want to end up making... Get some extra golem tokens on the battlefield? I think we're actually okay with that because we can trade. Yeah, let's go for that. Let's get two golems onto the battlefield. Because the thought of just going Jinkataxius <laughs> and then uh, trying to set up some extra golems, I don't know, that just didn't really sound that much fun. So uh, we'll get the golem tokens down. At the very least, we can at least double block with the uh, Urbrass because it just has hate. So uh -oh, let's see if the Urbrass is going to swing in or not. So we got the, the goblins, <laughs> not goblins, we got the golem tokens. And this may end up holding them back, which is definitely kind of what we want to. Not that we're in danger of losing our life total. But we are at 30, and a swing in from uh, an unchecked Urbrask is something that uh, can definitely chip away at our life total. All right, so that will get our opponent to kind of hold back. Um, they are strapped on mana, which unfortunately is not good for them, but is good for us. And so if we can get down Jenga Taxius and hopefully put some extra pressure on them, uh, that may end up working out for us. All right, so we did end up winning the flip on that one. Uh, we get the Exile Zone effect, and while we're on it, let's go ahead and go for Jenga Taxius. It's going to be 1-2... And then we have to end up tapping down for five, which unfortunately, um, that is going to be cutting us off of impulse. So we can hope to get a, yeah, I'd rather get down Jenkin Taxis. We're going to miss out on impulse. Uh, but once we get down Jenkin Taxis and get this protected, uh, we'll be in a pretty good spot. So anything else, uh, we will pass the turn over uh, to our opponent. Uh, but yes, with Jenkin Taxis, what are we doing with this deck? Um, this deck is pretty much just kind of 
I don't want to call it Mono Blue Tron in Modern, but it, that's kind of the concept of it. If you've ever seen Tron in Modern, where you're just trying to get to a bunch of mana, and then use something like one of your tap, you know, Stroke of Genius, Thassa's Intervention, Pull from Tomorrow, just get to a ton of mana, start to draw a bunch of cards, and to be honest with Jinkataxius, Jinkataxius in this particular deck is, is something that is kind of like, not necessarily plan B for the deck, but there are some commander decks where you need to have your commander down. You want your commander down. Um, with Jim Cataxius, the way this deck is set up is you hopefully want to have some sort of control over the board state. And then, when the hot tub is right, when the water feels good, then Jim Cataxius wants to come down. So this is definitely a hot tub commander in that uh, there may be some games to where if we've got a lot of good action in our hand, we're getting a lot of mana rocks out there, some good value creatures... Um, we may not end up, end up getting Jinkataxius down, but we're in a good spot now to where we do have Jinkataxius down. So, let's say that we do draw into Stroke of Genius, Thassa's Intervention, something like that. Uh, being able to get those copy of the Instant or Sorcery spells, um, that's something that's really going to help us generate some extra value. And hopefully, um, if they want to start swinging in for 5, we're okay. So we've got ways that we can generate card advantage, and we're just going to let this kind of come in. At the very least, we've got War Room. And uh, that's going to allow us to start drawing some cards. And if we need to kind of Psychonic Rift our way out of this or something, uh, we can certainly do that. So let's go for Tails on this Mana Crypt Trigger. We won the flip, and we will take that. And that is Fierce Guardianship, which is uh, not really much. So let's go for um, let's go for War Room. Let's get some card of, you know, getting an extra copy of something like Anticipate. Uh, ponder, that's, we'll take it. Uh, let's go Ponder. And uh, look at Jinka Taxi's the little baby samurai is really happy about that ponder. And also with ponder alert, uh, there's a person in the background if you didn't know that. So um, disallow. So we're going to probably end up putting Wasteland, Spellskite, and disallow on top because I like having disallow. We're not going to shuffle it, so we draw into disallow. Um, let's get the second ponder going. And uh, we'll look at, we know what's on top. Ooh, Stroke of Genius. Yep. All right, so let's go... So we get the Exile Zone, so let's set it up this way to where we put, and then with Urbrass, we can play, they may play it this turn. Alright, so we want to set up Wasteland as our play option, so let's put Spell Guide on top, let's put Wasteland on top, actually I did that out of order, we'll put Stroke of Genius on top, so we're not going to shuffle our library, draw into Stroke of Genius, and then uh, anything else. Uh, let's pass the turn to our opponent. So yes, we're going to be trying to cash in a Stroke of Genius. We actually do have a pretty good chunk of mana. Um, outside of getting the doubling effect, we would still be happy with the Stroke of Genius. But the fact that we get to make a copy of it, now we're definitely in a good spot. Because it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're looking at drawing 10 cards with Jinkataxius with Stroke of Genius. Um, we do have the counter effect with Jinkataxius. Uh, artifact, Instant, or Sorcery. And that's just going to be a Thopter token, which... We're okay with that, I think. The beginning of combat on your turn. Yeah, I think we're cool with that. That's just a 1-1 one, one Thopter token. If they want to swing in with that, they certainly can. Uh, but yeah, so we've got the lock. Not necessarily the lockdown, but we've got the barrier to play with Jinka Taxis where we can stop our opponent from going for spot removal. And if we can get to a, spoil, a point to where we can just hold up Disallow and Force of Negation, it's going to be really hard for them to be able to do anything um, once they get that going. All right, so it's going to be Aggravated Assault. Um, that will, I think that will, yeah, that's going to get Force of Negation moving out of our hand. And then we can copy it. And then what we'll do is we'll just, um, we'll just leave the same target as Aggravated Assault. There we go. All right, so it's going to stop Aggravated Assault. Um, aggravated, uh, Force Negation fizzles. And then we stop the extra Assault. So let's see if they decide to swing in or not. Um, we don't have any way to block in the air right now, so hopefully we can um, at some point. Once I get those Thopter tokens going. But uh, we'll still take another hit from Jury, and then we're going to hopefully, hopefully dodge this Mana Crypt. If not, we're going to be on the uh, Stroke of Genius game plan. We may end up just kind of going for the main phase of it. So, all right. Um, so we know Spell Sky is going to be off Urbrass. We're going to draw into War Room. Or not War Room, but uh, Wasteland. And let's get Wasteland down. Out of, excuse me. Yeah, that is correct. So we get Wasteland down. And let's see. So, do we just want to main phase a Stroke of Genius right now? We can do it during our opponent's turn. Yeah, no, let's do it during our opponent's turn. Um, with that Stroke of Genius, that's going to be a lot of card advantage, and that's going to give us an option to basically leave up Disallow if we need to end up going for that. And if we end up going for it, let's see if we end up going Disallow and Stroke of Genius. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3. That'll be 1, 2, 3. So we would Stroke of Genius for like 6 if we end up going for Disallow 
but we'd also have to force Stroke of Genius first to get the copy effect, so we'll see. Um, our opponent does have an Exile, Kindler's Transformation, which is going to turn it into a 3-3, so um, I guess if they wanted to, they could Kindler's Transformation onto Lightning Greaves. That would stop Lightning Greaves' protection. That would turn it into a 3-3, which actually would help us out. And then... That would leave Jenga Taxis open, but they still are strapped on mana. Uh, we do have Wasteland, um, and I will say this, as far as my play style with Wasteland, I typically don't pop somebody's land unless we just absolutely have to, like it's Yavi Maya's Cradle or something like that. I'm afraid if we pop our opponent's land, they might end up scooping it up, and I just kind of want to have fun playing Commander. And so if you're wondering about the Wasteland line of play, I may not end up, I mean, we might end up going for it just to kind of get them down but at least right now stroke of genius is the higher priority um for us right now so that's going to be jury swinging in for a five that drops us down to nine we drop down to six with a mana crypt trigger let's go for stroke of genius i think that works out and you know for some reason like we're getting the value that we want so we're definitely going to target ourselves let's go one two uh, with stroke of genius and uh let's go for it that's going to be six. That's going to be 12 card draw. <laughs> yes, this is what we're, this is what I mean by like mono blue Tron. This is what we're trying to do. Getting an extra copy of Stroke of Genius is uh, pretty much what we're looking for. And especially um, if we can untap what Jenga Taxi is uh, next term and uh, have 12 card advantage. That sounds like a pretty good plan. All right, so it's going to be same targets, 100%. We don't want to target our opponent. Sorry, buddy. And then, all right, that's a pretty heavy... And actually, with uh, Evacuation, that's that's pretty much kind of what we're wanting to see. All right, so we do run into some good stuff. Uh, they are swinging in for a 5. And so I think what we're going to do is we're going to try to protect our life total. So we're going to block on the Golem token. Now, we didn't necessarily run into a ton of amazing stuff. Um, with Evacuation, um, that's going to return everything back to their hand, but actually doesn't really kind of stop our board state. But with um, Dig Through Time, that's going to allow us to kind of dig for some answers next turn, which I do like that. So, all right, so we've got Urabras, we've got the Mana Crypt Trigger. Let's go and choose Tails on this one, and we will find a win condition at some point. Look at those Mana Crypt Triggers. We are... <laughs> We're doing good. All right, and we do have um, Mystic Sanctuary in our hand so let's go ahead and play island out of the exile zone and uh, let's go for a uh, dig through time so we're going to go one two with double islands let's get rid of scalding tarn uh, we'll get rid of mirror works thought misty and then thran dynamo and then i guess we'll just go and get rid of ponder that's probably something we're not really wanting to see all right so we're going to get double dig through time and what we're kind of looking through right now is uh Looking for some Cyclonic Rift action or something along those lines. So, Alright, so do we have Fabricate? That allows us to go for a direct search. Let's grab Fabricate and let's grab Mana Drain. And put those on the bottom in any order. Let's resolve our second dick through time. And that's going to be... Ooh, there we go. So, so yeah, Cyclonic Rift and Tezzeret, uh, which is what we're wanting to see. Put those on the bottom in any order. We're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, we've got just enough to uh, leave up Cyclonic Rift Mana. Um, do we want to end up going, that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that'll be 3, that'll be 5, 6, actually that'll cut us down, so um, let's do this, and actually I don't think we're going to rift next turn, so let's just deploy out as much mana as possible, so let's drop out Gilded Lotus, that's going to be 1, 2, because if they swing in with the entire crew, that's going to be 10, and actually, let's leave up, I was thinking we could, I was thinking we could, uh, yeah, dump out a bunch of mana, but I kind of like leaving up Cyclonic Rift to kind of hit the reset button. I think that'll end up helping us out a lot more. So um, anything else, let's go and pass the turn over to our opponent. We do need to discard down to hand size. And so let's do this. Let's go ahead and drop um, Academy Ruins is something we do like. We'll go ahead and drop Island. And we do need to get down. We've got 16. We've got too many cards in the hand. Um, let's go ahead and drop okay there we go so we do discard down the hand size sorry about that um i did i finally saw that we had thought vessel and i realized that we could have gotten down thought vessel and that would have allowed us to have no maximum hand size and keep up cyclonic rift so a little bit of a bummer on that one uh, but at the very least we've got cyclonic rift to send everything back to the hand if they do end up kind of tapping out um that'll at least allow us to kind of hit the reset button because it's going to be one two three four five six seven eight and so we can't go for anything else. So that's going to be Jenga Taxi's Countering Academy Manufacturer, uh, which we're definitely happy to see. And if they've got something else we want to stop, we've got Disallow or Mana Drain to add that extra mana 
uh, to our mana pool. So we do have Fabricate, so we will end up grabbing some sort of artifact that we want. So it's going to be Chaos Warp. And let's go... At this point, I think we'll end up going Mana Drain on Chaos Warp because we do want to... Do we want to protect that? Do we want to stop that? Um, I think what we'll end up doing is... Yeah, I think we'll just end up going Mana Drain on this one. That's going to be one and then two. And we'll stop... Uh, and actually, there we go. So yes, we'll keep the same target. So that'll be Mana Drain on Chaos Warp. That'll be three extra mana to our mana pool. And this does allow them to at least kind of swing in if they want to. And there's nothing else that we can go for and disallow our Cyclonic Rift. Alright, so we're going to see Jury swinging in in Urabrask. And then, actually, yeah, we're okay with that. That's going to be 10. So we'll toss a Golem, probably, and let's see. So let's toss a Golem in front of Urabras. There's going to be another 5 coming across. That'll drop us down to 9. And then anything else with Cyclonic Rift. We can set up Rift for next turn if we want to try to end up going for that. Okay, so let's go to our main phase. See what we rip into. That's going to be Urabras trigger. And we got the Mana Crypt trigger. Let's choose Tails on this one. I uh, lost the flip. That does drop us down to 6. And this will be Frexian Revoker, and then we add that extra mana uh, to our mana pool. Okay, so let's drop in, and we can just Rift everybody back, and that'll be the extra copy. So let's go Cyclonic Rift. Yeah, we'll cast that with Overload. And actually, let's do it like this. Let's go for Fabricate first, that way we get the extra copy. Alright, so we're going to grab Worm Coil Engine, because we do need some lifelink. And then off of the second Fabricate, I think what we end up going for is Torrential Gear Hulk. That does allow us to get extra artifacts onto the battlefield. Yeah, let's do that, because that's going to be a 5-6. So let's grab Torrential Gear Hulk. Um, let's go for Cyclonic Rift with Overload. All right, so we send everything back to the hand. Let's do Mystic Sanctuary. Um, we're going to put... Um, and actually, what we want to end up putting on top is... Because Cyclonic Rift will rift everything back to the hand if we wanted to. Um, let's put Fabricate back on top. And that way we can grab something else. I'm not going to pay for Mist... Uh, yes, we'll definitely use that ability. And then we do have four mana available. If we drop in Thought Vessel, that'll still keep us on... Yeah, there we go. All right, so anything else, uh, let's go ahead and pass the turn over to our opponent. So they can end up going for Urbrask if they want to. We do have the Disallow on Urbrask. That's going to allow us to counter that. And so we'll see how they decide to play this one out. Probably going to see uh, Dockside come down because that's going to give them extra treasure tokens and if that's the case we might end up going for the counter spell on this one so let's see what this is it's going to be one two and we're just trying to dodge this mana crypt <laughs> right now because i'm trying to do we have uh i don't think we have kci in here because i'm trying to figure out if we have a way to sacrifice it all right so that's going to be dock side let's go disallow and then we can copy in the dock side so yes we would same keep same targets on that one all right, so they're going to pass the turn over. Let's see if we get lucky with this mana crypt. I'm trying to remember if we've got any sort of way to stop this. Let's see what this last two is. It's probably going to be in the Signet. And uh, unfortunately, I do not think that we have... I'm looking at my list right now. I'm hoping that we have a way to sacrifice an artifact, and I don't think that we do. All right, so that's going to be Golgari Signet. But at least we've got two turns to try to dodge this. Okay, so that's going to be mana crypt. Let's choose Tails on this one. Oh, there we go. We won the flip. Okay. Alright, so let's drop in, um, let's go Worm Coil Engine first. Let's go one, two, three, my goodness. Alright, let's go for Worm Coil Engine. Um, and then that'll tap down for one more. That's going to be two Worm Coil Engines. So that way we're going to get the lifelink going. Alright, so that's going to get happening. And then I guess we could actually start swinging in with Jenka Taxis if we wanted to since we do have double Worm Coil. And then we've got the Torrential Gear Hulk Flash. Okay, let's do that. Alright, so let's go and swing in for five. Drop our opponent down to... Uh, 33, that's 5 total commander damage, and then anything else, pass it to our opponent. Yeah, so we've got Torrential Gear Hulk, and that's going to be double out of the graveyard for instants and sorceries. So let's see what this is. If they do end up going for... So let's say they go for Urbrask, we drop in Torrential Gear Hulk, that'll be a mana drain, that'll be extra mana, and then we can, the other Torrential Gear Hulk, we can go through, like, dig through time to double that up. Alright, so it's going to be Reclusive Painter. Okay... So it's going to be a treasure token. That's going to be one, two, three, four, five. So let's see what they end up going for. And if it seems like I don't know what I'm doing, it's been a long time since I've played Jin Kataxias. And the way I build commander decks sometimes is we just win through value. And so it's kind of trying to win through value sometimes is a little, it's a little clunky. It's a little messy sometimes, but it looks like we might be able to stabilize, um, especially if we start to get uh, these worm coil engines either blocking or swinging in. So if we at least get a swing in with one of the worm coil engines, we'll be in a good spot. 
Um, we've got... Yeah, let's go for Torrential Gear Hulk. That's going to be one, two, three, four, five, and then six. So we have uh, one more. There we go. I thought I miscounted for some reason. Um, that's going to be Torrential Gear Hulk. So we'll get down Torrential Gear Hulk. And what we're going to end up going for is, yes, have that Gear Hulk enter the battlefield. And we're going to go for Mana Drain. And then cast the card. And we're going to target uh, Nightblade. So we can add a little bit extra mana to our mana pool. We're going to have Torrential Gear Hulk enter the battlefield. And the... I'm trying to make sure that we understand this correctly. Um, with Frantic Search... Actually, I think we'll end up going... Because we have to discard... With Dig Through Time? Can we delve? And actually, we can cast it without paying its mana cost. There we go. Alright, so we're going to cast uh, Dig Through Time. Look at the top seven. So that's going to be Blink Moth, Vile Duplication. Okay, I actually like that. So let's grab Mirror Battlesphere... And then let's grab the uh, Vile Duplication. Those go to our hand. Those go on the bottom in any order. And then with Mere Battle Sphere, that's going to allow us to stabilize, hopefully. And then once we get the double Warm Coil Engine tokens going, um, we'll be in a pretty good spot. I guess the only thing we need to watch out for would potentially be um, some sort of board wipe. Because we are naked. We do not have a counter spell. And that would be something that I would definitely like to see. So we're going to choose Tails on this Mana Crypt Trigger. Loss of Flip. Woo! If we don't catch that last Mana Crypt Trigger. My goodness. All right, so we're going to add that three mana to our mana pool. And let's go Tezzeret, because we do have the artifacts. So that's going to be one, two, three, double blue. We'll get down Tezzeret, so we're going to definitely be able to draw all those cards. And that's going to be two card draw. And we're just looking for... Um, all right, so we do run into Jace. And let's get Jace down. And then we still end up having Preordain that we can kind of rock and roll with. So um, let's do this. Let's just go ahead and push in first. So let's swing in, because that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, swing in with Jink Ataxius, Worm Coil, Worm Coil. Yeah, and I think I like doing this. All right, because nothing has Death Touch. Yeah, I like doing this. So we're going to swing in with the entire crew. Um, that's going to be 6, 12. That's going to be 22. That's going to be 27. That's going to be a huge chunk of damage to our opponent. All right, so we're going to see some blocks on the Worm Coil. That's going to give us a much-needed life gain. And if they want to deal some damage to us, they certainly... Our opponent's going to scoop it up on that one. So um, so what we're going to end up doing is we get our life gain, which kind of protects us from Mana Crypt. And so that puts us up to 15. Um, after that, we're going to be going for Jace, going for Preordain. Um, we can actually end up going for Jace, and that's going to give us the Brainstorm ability. And then we can still dig, because we still have an open Gen Gataxius. Um, our follow-up play, mainly, if we don't run into something that we want, is after we swing in with the entire crew... Uh, we would have gone for Mere Battle Sphere. And so that would have been a 4 7, two four sevens, and that would have been eight mirrors on the battlefield. And then on top of that, we still have Fabricate if we wouldn't end up going for that. So, anyways, hopefully you enjoyed the game. If it was a little clunky, it's because this deck doesn't really have a set win condition other, other than overwhelming value, and we're able to achieve overwhelming value uh, with Worm Coil Engine and Torrential Gear Hulk. And huge shout out to our opponent for letting us play that out. Um, I know we burned up a little bit more clock. Uh, than they did so i greatly appreciate them letting us play this and uh thank you to the mana crypt gods for making sure that we're able to get it because if we get two mana crypt tri triggers wrong in a row we do not survive so anyways if you enjoyed the video like and subscribe thanks bye